So Israel Adesanya struggled mightily with the style of Sean Strickland. What is it that makes him and his style so tough? Uh, it, because it's not right. Uh, everything he does wrong is, or does right and well is technically wrong. It's nothing he's ever been taught. No one's ever taught Sean Strickland to fight like that. It's a style that he's developed over years and years and rounds and rounds in the gym. And he, he reminds me very much of Jamal Hill. He has very good eyes. His reaction time is, is, is almost perfect. But he just sees things very well. And he just has developed this style in the gym over thousands of hours of sparring. He just disrupts all the offense. And, and it's his pressure. It's his conditioning. It's his takedown defense. It, it's, he's just he, he's been forged in the fire uh, mm -hmm. with his style. And also, he likes to be there. He likes to be there. Some guys, they have a, a tremendous amount of skill. They're very talented. But if you don't like to be there, you're not going to put your best foot forward. You're not going to give your best effort. But we know about Sean Strickland is he likes to be in a fight. He gets a lot of credit for his defense on the striking front, and rightfully so. But sometimes that chin has been up in the air. So how do you think, in a broad sense, Steen, his striking defense holds up against the power game of Drake is Duplessis? Now, this is a question mark because he's good at people who do things, as Anthony would say, quote unquote right. Drakus doesn't do things right neither. So this can be a question mark because he's going to go up against a guy who's just as unorthodox as he is. So depending on how he's able to deal with that distance and the speed of, and the pace at which the fight goes, I'm not sure he's going to be able to handle it just like he's done other people. It's easier, a little easier for him to disrupt Izzy because he knows where those punches are coming from. He's not going to know where the punches are coming from from Drikas. I, I think he's going to have a little bit. Uh, I think it's going to be a little easier because Duplessis doesn't necessarily punch in very, very long combos. I will say, though, if the, uh, the Alex Pereira knockout is any kind of indication, it, the way that he does kind of Philly shell and the left hand comes down, he leans to his right a lot. Duplessis does fight out of the southpaw stance a lot. So if there's going to be anything that's going to be coming that's going to be dangerous for Sean, it's going to be coming from that southpaw stance, maybe a nasty left hook or something. Yeah. I think that's where he needs to be very, very mindful. We've talked a lot this week, fellas, about Sean Strickland's perceived emotional and mental state. I would submit to you guys he's a big game player that is able to properly compartmentalize the emotions. But I, I, to me, I'm not sold agree. on that. I mean, I'm glad that you're sold on that, but I'm not sold on that because to me it's a question mark because there needs to be some sort of cohesion between your fighting style, your personality, and the performance. And when one is off, especially your mentality, you don't know what kind of performance you're going to get. Now, all week, he's been different. Ever since he became champ, he's been different. So I don't know what type of performance we're going to get. It was easy for him to be the bad kid in class, in detention. But now he's the class president. Uh how does he perform as the class president? I think that that's why he's created this kind of this weird emotional kind of mess. I think things were going too smooth, and he did feel like the class president. I think he has to feel like uh, I'm the kid that's in trouble here. I think that this is all, I don't want to say manufactured, but I think this is what he needed in here so that he can perform tomorrow night.